For years, Rode have been known as the the kings of the vlogger sort of microphone, I guess. And this has been one of their mainstays, the Rode Video Mic. Um, it takes a 9 volt battery, which is the main reason why I moved away from using it. So what I then moved across to, I was going to get the smaller video mic micro or mini or whatever it's called um, from Rode. But I saw this Movo VXR10, which was kind of about half the price. And it is actually a very good microphone. I'm very happy with it. Um, but there was one big problem. And that's when you're vlogging and you are pointing the camera at yourself. Absolutely fine. The, the microphone's pointing at you. But then you turn the camera around to point at something in front of you. And all you hear is this. Because it's trying to pick up what's in front and cut out what's around and behind. That is the problem I've been trying to solve. Um, I also have the Zoom H1, which I generally tend to use in this room, but that picks up everything, so you can't use that out and about on a vlog. So I decided that I would buy this. The Deity V-Mic D4 Duo. I've seen a few videos about this microphone and it seems like it would fix my issue. So let's have a look at it. The microphone is mounted on a hot shoe mount and comes with a cable to connect to your camera with two dead cats. The front and rear capsules can be switched to either just front or front and rear and there is an input so you can amend the rear input to be a separate microphone instead. I think this is going to be the one, but I've not used it yet, so it might be a pile of pants. Um, so let's find out. Let's switch them around, find out which one sounds best. Okay, this is the Rode video mic, so I'm hoping you hear good audio quality. It never let me down in the past, so let's see what that sounds like. We've now got the Movo VXR10, and again, never let me down in the past, so let's see what that sounds like. Okay, we've now got the Deity and this is the front mic only. So if I click in front, click behind. And now we've just flicked the switch. And I believe what this does is it puts one mic in left ear, one in the right ear. I don't know what I'm doing there. Back to just the front and I'm gonna have a listen to these in post now and see what I think. Then we're gonna do a bit of a road test. Go out and just take the VXR10 and the Deity because I'm not taking this out. I'm definitely not taking this out. So yeah, we'll do a uh, VXR10 versus the Deity just to see what that's like out and about in terms of um, how good is the dead cat at uh, blocking any wind noise and does it cut out a lot of background noise out and about. But really what we all want to know is how does it perform out there? Right, so we're now outside in the little woods bit, but it's uh, there's, some, there's a building over there that's got some noise, got work going on over there. We've got some cars, some bits and bobs going around. So let's try, um, let's try, here we go. So this is no microphone at all. So just the in-camera microphone. Now I'm gonna, now this is the Deity. So hopefully you heard a bit of a difference. I'm gonna walk around. Try and snap some twigs, see what I can do there. 
Now, I'm going to swap it over to the VXR10. Okay, we're now on the VXR10. So, again, I'll walk around. Bit of uh, wandering, see what happens. And then, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn the, uh, the camera around. So now you can see what it sounds like. And now we're going to do the same but with the deity. Okay, so we're back with the deity and I'm going to just sort of turn it around, walk a little bit, walk back again. Let's see, um, see what the difference is. I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say already and that is wobble wobble wobble. Wobble, 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 wobble. Why was Bill and Ben in the video? It wasn't Bill and Ben. It's because of one major flaw with this microphone. The mount is so flimsy. Oh, it, I, I couldn't listen to that. And I hope you stayed through that um, to, to hear me say this. The microphone itself, I think, is wonderful. But that design flaw is ridiculous. Um, how can a company that charges half the price for their microphone get it right when they when Deity can't? Um, so what I've actually done, I've taken the mount off of the uh, the VXR10, and I'm using the the Deity microphone. That's what I'm going to do from now on in vlogs. It means that I can. Um, you know, get the front and the back and push them into being a mono feed. And also just cut the bits out of the back microphone that I don't need to use and cut the bits out of the front microphone that I don't need to use. So it's going to be really, really helpful going forward. Um, so I'm really excited about that, but I just can't believe they got that mount wrong. The other thing that I've done is I'm now not going to use the zoom in my room. Uh, in the studio, I'm going to be going back to the Rode mic that I'm using right now. Uh, I think that I get a cleaner audio and not so much echo. So let me know what you think. What do you think is uh, good about that Deity microphone? Do you actually agree with me that it was a good microphone? Do you prefer the Zoom audio that I normally use to the Rode? Let me know what your thoughts are and uh, I will see you in the next video. Keep going.